All right, this is the second edition of uh, Chris Chris's comments. Uh, it's April nineteenth, just like the previous video. It's just been a couple of uh, minutes, but I'd also like to bring up uh, the fact that we've got a helicopter on Mars right now, and it's you know it's made out of us humans, planet Earth. We place it on there. It turns out it's a successful flight. The engine started up just fine. Uh, the blade, propeller blades started circulating. Um, it is remotely controlled and, and moved around. It's, um, all, all that time that the uh, that the uh, scientist wanted. And um, it was a huge success. And I'm bringing this up because we've got so much crap going on down here right now that shouldn't even be uh, shouldn't even be an issue. You know, we got cops that are killers, and then we got a couple of we still have more uh, violence concerning guns. We've got migrants fighting for their lives, uh, running over here seeking asylum. You know, from uh, from the violent people out of their home country. You know, we've, we've got all this crap going on and everything should be taken care of. While we're missing out on what's going on through a scientific innovation. Now, for those who say, what good, what is the point of it and what is, you know, what what's the purpose? Well, the purpose is to be scientifically innovative. I think what you might be looking for is what is to benefit. Mars has a crap load of what is called um, light natural gas, or at least the ingredient that makes light natural gas uh, here in on Earth. Here on Earth, we've got um, we've got to you know drill for it, and we got to ruin our our ecosystem doing this crap. You know, it's a it's a problem that a lot of us really don't like here in Texas because uh, the Rio Grande is actually being used as a transport to transport uh, to ship out tanks and tanks of uh, light natural gas at the expense of um, blasting and drilling through our indigenous lands. Texas indigenous lands. So even if you, even if you're a Texas Native American, which if you're, a lot of Anglo's like to call themselves that, you can call yourself that. Your family migrated over here, and you have a heritage here, and you've started a lineage here. Then yeah, by all means, call yourself a Texas Native, even if you're black, even if you're Asian, if you have a lineage here do it you're not exactly Texas indigenous like some of us but that's all right that's okay the thing is is that um, the people that are doing all these blastings and and uh, uh, land, uh, you know using explosives to sacred lands and and even non sacred lands just the simple fact that we're tearing up the earth that we're tearing up Texas lands to produce uh, net light natural gas, something that could actually replace our fueling system. You know, that's the bonus of going to Mars. That's the bonus of, of, of taking it, you know. And that's the immediate findings that we have that, uh, that NASA has found. You know, I'm, I'm almost positive because there used to be water. There's more than likely clay or any other type of brick-making clay. Or, dare I say, concrete. Which also means less drilling here in the States. Or here, in the, here on Earth. <laughs> Not just in the States. And the only reason why that's safe to assume is because of all the dunes and uh, what what looks like what used to be lakes and giant I mean we're talking big lakes and um, you know as big as the Great Lakes and, and larger you know 
Baltic Sea sized. So, um, yeah, the, the sky's the limit right now. Or should I say the stars? The stars the limit right now. Um, and, it, and it just mind boggles me sometimes how everybody here, you know, goes straight to issues and problems and dilemmas. You know, our dilemma is why aren't we over there yet? The way I see it. That, sh that should be the actual dilemma. Instead of having to look at um, you know gerrymandering that's going on by, by people like my governor uh, Greg Abbott and viruses uh, you know calling it a hoax and all this stuff this planet is so full of life it only makes sense that an airborne virus would be would be possible not only possible but would be migrant um, regardless as to whatever country it came out of You know, we're we're hating Asian Americans or it just Asians and Pacific Islanders, you know, for something that that's developed and migrant itself, which is a virus, which is that virus, the coronavirus. You know, and it doesn't make sense back to uh, back to stop hating the wrong people video that I that I made earlier last month. Um, you know, there was uh, there's a. Uh, Dr. Wei Feng that discovered it. He was forced into quarantine by CCP and he was just recorded as opposed to being treated to the point where he died. I mean, his liver failed, his skin got black in reference to rotting and um, his lungs gave way eventually and he went through a very painful process. So when you take a step back and look at it, we're talking about an organization named the Chinese Communist Party that took one of their own, a citizen who was reporting it, and watched him die, despite the fact that everybody knows a virus can kill, but they did it anyway. The fish and uh, frozen foods markets, their industry, reported contaminated food. They couldn't identify that it was the coronavirus. Later on, we all found out that it was COVID. But they were still forced to ship it. They were still forced to put them on boats and planes and send them to all the countries that buy their food, their fish. Chinese fish. They were ordered by the CCP, the, the government organization that's in charge of China. These were upright citizens. These were normal, everyday working citizens, working class citizens in the fish market, in the shipping business. They reported it like a good citizen should. And they were forced to send it out. They were forced to send it out or face jail. They were forced to send it out and face fines that could bankrupt them and and, uh, and close their shops down, ultimately silencing them by way of their uh, wallet and losing their houses. A couple of people were actually jailed. I don't remember how many, but there's a, there was one, at least one, that is now missing, okay, which is pretty safe to assume he's dead. And that's just over in China. We had a couple of scientists, Asian American scientists here in the well, technically Asian American and one in the UK. And they were told to pick up the the CCP demanded that the UK and and America grab whoever it was that was testifying to collect all the data and all of the knowledge and to be extradited immediately back to sh to China. You know, and I think one of them is also missing too. The other two went into hiding. Okay, these are scientists who were doing a good job. They were supposed to be they were doing a good job as citizens. And yet for some reason haters out here choose to ignore this that your average Asian is going to be an average citizen and going to do 
what is the right thing. And for some oddball reason, haters are subjecting them, attacking them, uh, pushing them in front of moving vehicles. And all this uh, horrible hate, acts of hate, when they are not the ones that you're supposed to be upset with. It's the organization that's killing their own people and in reference to coronavirus, killing their own scientists and their own citizens that are reporting this bad stuff like a good citizen does. And for some oddball reason, they're being subjected if they're not being killed by their own government. You know, and we've got this going on right now, and yet we've got stuff that's taking place in our, in, our, in our planet next door, which technically should be awing all of us. It should be, uh, and we we should be in awe and in curious wonder and hope driven to a bigger success. Now that we have some kind of mobility up there with machinery that can start collecting. We already went through the samples, uh, the ground samples, the data analyzing and all this stuff. Now we have a chance to put shipping over there, shipping devices over there, and bring them here to, you, to the States, to the US, to, the, to Earth, you know, and benefit from that. But for some oddball reason, we got hate going on. We got cops that don't want to stop killing. We've got killers out there that cops have to that the good cops have to hunt down. Bad cops that are trying to get a walk. You know, and people hating each other. And then you got other people that just want to, that want to follow some BS rhetoric and say, "Well, none of this is going to work." While others are saying everything is in shambles, we need to do more. Crying for more leeway and stuff. Crying, making another issue concerning homosexuals, making another issue concerning uh, health and benefits, making another issue concerning child care, uh, concerning our taxes, um, concerning God. Concerning God, people, or whatever God you, you call him, whatever name you call God. I mean, come on now. This thing right here is to bring up the fact that there is a mobile unit, a mobile machinery that uh, device that's up in our neighbor planet. And we should really be looking at it with a whole lot more optimistic. And we should be calm down. We should be calming down down here in, on Earth. Particularly here in the States where this is a, a problem. <clears throat> and start working on resolutions. And get everybody ready. Re-educate ourselves. Because there's obviously certain elements and factors to key in concerning the involvement of, uh, of working Mars working that planet you know and that's if we can get over there within our lifetime and we got we got to really um, we got to take note of this and put it to use and and most definitely kill all the issues and settle them settle issues that's what I that's my take on it and Again, I'm just a lonely, lonely little rideshare driver from San Antonio. You know, you got a bunch of political leaders bitching and complaining. You got a bunch of people that are following rhetoric and propaganda bitching and complaining. You got a lot of finger pointing and you got a lot of uh, sympathy for the devil that's going on. If I don't, if you permit me to use the, the speaking of religious uh, talk, you know, there's so much sympathy for the devil right now you know forgetting about you know does anybody even know the cop's name that shot that guy at the airport you know 
does anybody even know the cops, you know, that pulled a kid out of water or, or uh, you know, saved everybody from a fire, you know? They're starting to blur. And all the, uh, the, because the people that are taking up our memory and our focus right now, the cops that are taking up our focus right now are the murderous ones that are trying to get off with saying, hey, you know, it's a split second decision. You know, you, nobody can make that judgment call. Well, it's obvious that that cop can't. That cop that committed a murder can't. The rest of this nation, however, So, that's the spiel there. Um, you know, we've got an accomplishment going on up there in, on Mars. It should open up the doorway through uh, through uh, another plan in the in our taxation plan and in our infrastructure plan. You know, we've already got it for our roads, highways, and internet, thanks to this current president. President Biden. It's a little slow start right now. Um, and right now, everybody that it's against it or just, you know, into propaganda is spewing a bunch of rhetoric and saying that it's not going to work. Big surprise. But if you think about it, this infrastructure plan is going to be opening up a whole crap load of jobs. Something that a rideshare driver really, really has no problem with. And to think to be doing a rideshare, ride-sharing passengers to a branch that's going to be helping out NASA, that's going to be helping out with more devices, uh, more machinery to send up, not just to the moon, we still have that to work on, but to Mars itself, the red planet. That's obviously going to be a whole lot more beneficial if we take that one. The moon, however, has good fertilizing ground that helps grow crops stronger and more uh, more uh, healthier. The moon has got that. It's a it's a tiny it's a third of what of what the Earth can provide, but that's beside the point. You know, it's an extra additive that makes healthier food. Also, ice, uh, it would have to obviously be, you know, decontaminated, deradiated. But the ice up there can can be put into our water system again, seeing as how we're going through so much drought every summer, you know. And then Mars with light natural gas, holy crap, can provide a hell of a lot more than what this, the whole planet can provide a lot more than what this little plan can provide. You know, so you got a lot of industry that's going to be, that you know has got to be taking place. <laughs> it's, it's an industry that's going to be uh, booming again. Which I think is actually pretty good given the fact that we're already with solar and wind. Um, you know, it'll lighten the load a lot. It transferring everything to the common grounds here. While the oil and the rocket fuel and all this good stuff and the and the gas uh, gets used for transportation to Mars, it'll you know weights and balances. It'll even things out. You know, one one form of uh, power will be assisting the other. You know, so um, that's pretty much it right there. We've got a we've got a hope of a bigger, brighter future. But it has to get into play, and we've got to settle our differences down here. We've got to put these issues down, and we got to set them over to one side. Because you know there's going to be more comments. we got the opportunity to send mankind to Mars. You know there's going to be problems with it. It sure as there were problems just going to the moon. You know, and I'm sure they're going to make great cinematic, uh, cinematic based off of a true story feature. You know, I'm going to have Tom Hanks going over to Mars. You know, Houston got a problem. Um, and all the other, all the other space cowboys to, to the red planet, you know, 
this time it's personal whatever but yeah we really gotta really gotta settle things down and just focus on the future while and we gotta we gotta put everything that's an issue we gotta settle them we've got to settle the issues and we've got to settle them now because things are gonna be changing things are gonna be changing soon enough I can't give you a time when but I know it's going to be soon enough there's always changes in this particular world concerning this particular species there's always changes that's the story of our lives so let's settle these issues now because we've got some upcoming ones coming in the near future alrighty this is Chris with Chris's comments uh, y'all take care stay safe it's the start of a new week. Let's start it off right and uh, take it from there. Take care. Chris, out.